Yeah. <laughs> I said, Wushi wins the tournament. Wushi just won the tournament. I don't even give a fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry about that, the birds here. Wushi, the meme. In this matchup has a massive slow, so the second you eat that in any kind of SA, you are going to be slowed down slightly. TP comes out here, over to the backside. Horsey looking for a grab opportunity here. On a guard, waiting. He's lining, Meteor drop. Gonna be behind that pillar, not gonna get that connection. Gulag jumping up, trying to get on the high ground. Does not want to be stuck in that corner. Lighting again, no CC connection. That is gonna be a stun. Pops the Blizzard here. Horsey eats a little bit of it, so he's gonna wait until that slow backs up. It is only a four second slow, so still holding here. 30 seconds left to close your circle. It ends up walking up. Trying to go for a grab opportunity once again, dropping some damage. Horsey dropping down 50% here. TP's oh, behind, oh. and there's the grab. Got the initial bait TP there, and Horsey's doing a great job. Gulag maybe playing a little too passive. Oh. Gulag now comes out of the zone here. Oh no! Ate the ice ball oh. on the backside and got CC'd out of the zone. Maybe a little too ambitious with that positioning. Horsey paying attention, catches him and... The front uh, guard rocks some damage. Now, Meteor Dive once again, needs to be careful. Oh, back step, Zephyr Leap backing up, going forward, goes for the shot there. Zephyr Leap out from Zim. Meteor Dive forward, nervous. trying to close that gap. Wants to get close to Morris here. Almost hit the Meteor Dive, but goes in on Spirit Zip on the last second. And Morris is losing this damage trade hard. And eats the final Luther Gods on the last shot. General oh, Morris, one of your no. favorites for this tournament, is going to get knocked out into that third place Dude, match. Dude, just and at Zim, any minute. The offset will be moving on to your grand finals. Yeah, Zim playing that so incredibly Dude. well. And we talked about the melee range that General Moores wanted to be in. Something interesting that I just noticed, Zim did pick up the core skill for Uproot instead of Luther Guns, knowing that he would be up close and personal with General Moores. So Zim, you know, putting in the time, reading his opponent and knowing what to expect in the fight, Really well played there. Really great preparation there. He got Tyson blown up on his feet, Sammy. For this Get damage on that Rico. Get damage on the Rico if you can. Follow your box. He gets ulted inside. Get the kills. Focus him on the choke. He was on ping now. He was on ping now. Disengage south now. Disengage south now. Get south. Get south. Get south. Jesus Christ. Can't ping it, they're fucking... Of this upcoming match, it's going to be Alpha Ook versus <laughs> Gloomer. Do you, do you want to explain where that like Ook thing originated from? Uh, Alpha Ook. I mean, Ook is very common in the striker community. We know fake uniform is pretty big on that, and I think just overall going into this matchup, it's it's going to be pretty entertaining. Alpha Ook, possibly one of he the most actually. <laughs> Can I get that? No. But yeah, against the Musa, it's just one stiff and I'm dead. How? I want a soul ground lift. It's, it's crazy. There we go. Okay. Ah, fuck. How did you not flip the pancake, bro? Comments and encouragement. I love you guys. And for this final Dark Knight fight, well, they're actually all concluded now. So let's actually pull up those EU semifinal brackets and check out who's going to be facing who in the finals. On the left side of the bracket, we do have Hotterock versus. On, and on the right side of the bracket, we have Tuomi. These two players will be duking out in the grand finals for that title of Unrivaled. And Keith will be walking home with those third place prizes. Not bad prizes either. And thank you for checking out the Dark Knight classes. We are going to be moving on to the next class. The very passionate, burly, tanky fighter of Black Desert, the Striker. He is going to be up next. And um, 
Did you ever play Mystic Vert, or am I thinking of somebody else? Oh, and Late plays Mystic. That's okay. right. So, you, yeah. So Striker is obviously he was the first like Gauntlet class released in Black Desert. Mystic came afterwards. And want to give us a quick rundown about Striker? Yeah, I remember when he was on release. Yes. To make it to the Grand Finals, where the winner will be crowned the title of. I'll definitely try. I'll try. All right. So Horsey is a really well known uh, EU. Do you guys want to see the chat or no, by the way? Sure, I could crop that out. I don't know much about him, but would you make any quick predictions uh, for today's first match? Or do you not want to see the yeah, chat? Horsey coming out is, you know, he's no a chat? Okay. wizard. He's been on the class a long time. I think he's experienced. I've heard that possibly he might pull out some Awakened tech today Ooh. against the succession of Gulag. Now, Gulag is definitely no slouch. Extremely geared, I believe, almost hard capped on the wizard class. And just overall extremely good at the class. Sounds like it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. Well, the yeah. players are ready. Horsey versus Gulag. The EU Wizard semifinals is going to start now. Let's jump into that arena. Look how they allowed Gulag as stress. Stone Lightning comes out trying to burn Wizard's frontal guard there. Gets the oh. fireball on the last take. No, Rez coming in out there, buddy. And was that a, was that a <laughs> dagger, dagger stab? stab? That was a dagger stab kill from Wushi to end up winning the yeah. I I win! Come on! Oh! Yes! Oh my! Oh! I get it! Yes! Oh! Oh! I'm guessing in a Oh no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Wait, oh my lord. Same, you better shoot the fuck up, okay, before I mute you. V or not, you are still going to end up dying in that last oh, take. And actually, oh, nice. such a fast CC got behind Swiftfoot's Q block there just in time. And Quad now has the opportunity to get the instant CC off. Gets behind the pillar, tried to drop the sub, but a little too slow. And now neither player has a V option available. 30 seconds until final circle. Protection comes forward. Quad trades it back. Swiftfoot in the middle of it, but Quad's completely losing oh. it. But actually hits the blooming CC oh, on the Awakening Musa, dropping the combo. BSR skill, the oh. final hit, and hits the down smash. And Qu Quad clutches it with 5% HP and will move on to your grand final. Triva coming out with the raw Phantom Blooming. It takes balls to do that, and he capitalizes <laughs> back against the wall. Both players, yep. D-less, incredible play out of Triva to take the victory. Yeah, I don't know. Uh... Of course, man. You're always on top. On top means you're in control. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, she. We're talking about basement. Oh my minus god. I don't ignore my chat. I love you guys. Cast me, Moosey. Big debuffs coming out. 1,900. 1,093%. Seven hits. Super armor. He well. said and we have. He said we have. He did. Main skills for damage. Actually, I don't, I don't know if it's one of their main skills for damage. But first, <laughs> tremble, stun CC. Her second stun CC. He kit, said I we. Think. Super armor as well. One thousand percent. Three uh, seven hits. So those are the three big. Oh, this is actually happening, dude. The shies do have to uh, use in the. This hit, guy means a shy. He's in. De he's <laughs> in denial. Said, the players are ready to jump into the next round. We're gonna jump in there too and hop in. Uh, Bellsong versus Wuchar. Let's see if Bellsong can turn things around or <laughs> Wuchar is just going to pick up another easy win. Oh my god, that's too funny, dude. He said we. All right, hopping into this match. We're going to see Wutaru popping his e-buff right off the bat, getting aggressive, but going to kite back to the center of the arena. And we did see that Flame Bongo once again coming. He's doing a guild mission. Now nah, he needed that spot specifically. That spot. That's his spot. Not this spot, that spot. I don't care what you're saying, Yanks. <laughs> Listen, streamer, stop what you're doing and answer me. 
Pay attention to me. I'm important. Meh. Streamer. Streamer. Of that split teleport, that's so powerful with Wizard. I believe the trade off that Witch gets is more cast speed on their abilities, and they also have that incredibly powerful magical evasion. And uh, I do think also on the Global Labs, magical evasion might be getting a bit of a buff. I believe it's gonna, the cooldown might be being reduced to three seconds uh, from four seconds, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but someone's gonna have to double check that for me. And for Witches, when it comes to the Awakening now, we saw in Horsey's matchup in the EU fights, when he had that grab on the Wizard Awakening, he was able to just PA at one point for one of the rounds, strut up to the <laughs> Succession Wizard and just grab him, put him on the floor and kill him. But Witch does not have access to that grab and instead of the grab she has instead of block. So does this kind of trade off might change for a potential Awakening Succession matchup we will see here? Yeah, so coming out with the Awakening, just like you said, they have that Q block, and on top of that Q block, they also get Resist, which in the current meta, with the knockdowns, you know, Fireball and Meteor both having the knockdowns, so important. This is so tanky, pushing forward, trying to get out of that vacuum, went for the forward grab. Try to get it through, unfortunately, and needs to be I'm careful I'm so here. curious how much damage Magus would do if he lands a CC. Pop that, that, oh, sorry, no. Oh, buff there. And the Hatchets, dude! is going to get the pre-awakening grab, and Toxic Wait, he does the ground. What the fuck? Got KD, and Magus Mag is going to end up winning the round. Dude, he fucking deleted him! Back to back there, what the fuck the was that from. damage? Saved him. That's what I, was I oh my yeah, god, should I tag a exactly fucking like what? Gamer matchup. I want to tag. You know, coming in and to what was that? Succession. <laughs> you know, I haven't run into something like that personally, but after watching that tournament, I am now terrified of Succession Nova. <laughs> yeah, terrified of NA. That's Berg's gear. Nova's Dude, but Toxic yeah, has yeah. so <laughs> much gear. Uh, but yeah, looks like um, the thing is with Magus Blade, and as you mentioned, similar to the Tamer. Um, these hey guys, I'm Joseph. I created the algorithm, Gloomshot, that made the video that you're watching right now. I didn't do any of the video editing, compilation, or uploading by hand. I actually wrote some code that does all of it for me while I'm sleeping. This might seem like a pretty complex skill, but it's a lot simpler than you think. I'm completely self-taught and believe that if you can play video games, you can write your own automation code. If you're interested in learning this skill, I've created an online course that will hold your hand through making a bunch of real-world projects even if you've never coded before. Check it out in the description below.